Arts pencil sketch. Remove that from my creative process and I haven't got a creative process. I need a pen and a piece of paper and that's, that's kind of it. And then you just put the pen on the paper and see what happens. The process is, is very simple and very direct. I draw onto paper, uh, and I cut out the paper, I glue it down onto the piece of paper, scan it in, do the colour bit on the computer and it's finished. In year six, we were doing a project on aliens, and I've spent ages trying to draw the stereotypical alien of how an alien is like known to look. And I was around my Uncle Terry's in Sheffield, and he said, oh, um, you know, you don't know what an alien looks like. None of us do. It could be whatever you want it to be. And when I was a kid, that completely blew my mind. I was like, yeah, I can draw whatever I want. But there's something really nice about the moment when you're, you know, like you, in, when you're doing a drawing, you're just, you don't have to think about anything else. You're just doing the drawing and you, and then all you have to think about is what the next line is going to be and you're in the moment, you know, it's like, it's, it's a really nice place to be. I'd just come back from an exhibition where I was doing lots of live drawing and I really enjoyed that and it was like, okay, cool, I like that. And then I just wanted to get out and, and went out and then saw all, and I didn't have much money. Um, so, and saw all this rubbish and was like, oh, hang on a minute, I could just draw on that rubbish. This is free, gets me out of the house. And, and also, I don't know what I'm, what, what's going to be there, so it's quite nice to have that bit where you, you go to the streets and then there might be a fridge, so you draw on the fridge. And then, uh, and then yeah, it's, it could be gone the next day or, yeah, or sometimes the next half an hour or something, like literally see the, the binman coming up the street and then it's gone. You know, you ask anyone oh, to, to describe something, I said, well, it's just easier if I just take a p pencil and paper out. And it's that kind of classic analogy, isn't there, about like the uh, NASA spending like, you know, mi you know, billions of dollars on a pen that works in space and the Russians just used a pencil. You know, a pen, a brush, a pencil's technology. There was a point where a brush didn't exist. And look at painting. I mean, the Impressionists only were able to paint au plein air because of painting tubes. Before that, you were in your studio mixing up, or your assistant was mixing up linty oil and raw pigment, you know, and doing, uh, there's no way you could paint outdoors like that. Everything was sort of studio based. So, I mean, the technology of, a, of a, a paint tube just, you know, enabled people to make great leaps forward. You know, you could ask people in caves, so people are starting to draw on parchment, you know, instead of the wall of the cave, what do you think? It doesn't really matter, like, a blank screen is just as bad or good as a blank page. Like, you've, you've got to bring something to it either way, so it's just another format in which you can draw on, which is great in a way, but it doesn't really help you if you have no ideas or can't draw or don't know what to draw. A lot of younger generation that sort of grew up making images on the computer before they perhaps drew even, you know, or perhaps they didn't. The first thing they made an image on was an iPad, you know. But there must be thousands of kids out there that are using brushes or Sketchbook Pro or even like a, a free drawing software on a computer. That's where they started. But I don't think we should look at um, like the digital tools as a replacement. I think that's the wrong way to sort of um, sort of talk about them because they're just a, they're a new tool. I guess in the last couple of years. Everyone's got, you know, the tablets, the big, big ones that you draw one to one. That's exactly like, for illustrators, that speeds things up because it means in terms of how quickly you can produce something. I know it's become more technical and it's more advanced, but it is going back to the idea that they're holding, in essence, a pencil, a pencil in their hand. Yeah. So it's, it's actually the more the technology improves, the more it potentially will go back to the old days, rather than having a mouse that's very kind of odd shaped, going back to that <laughs> idea of a pencil. Thank you.